is temporary shelter assistance. It's a program where we uh, get blocks of uh, hotel rooms uh, in uh, participating hotels uh, that provide, to, and we actually have uh, uh, people that are staying in hotels here uh, in the in uh, uh, Puerto Rico as well as uh, in the United States. I can know, I can give you the updates on those numbers uh, 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 later. When, you know, I don't want to just guess at them, but it's it's. Here on the island, it's not a very large number, uh, but in, uh, in uh, the U.S., it's probably a, you know a few a few hundred. Uh, as far as uh, no no flights in place so far, uh, we've actually gone out and surveyed. This is uh, this program is mainly to. Uh, remove people from congregate shelters, and we've gone and we've interviewed all the people in congregate shelters, and it's actually a very small number of people that have expressed an interest in, in moving, and we're, we're still working with them to evaluate whether or not they actually want to leave Puerto Rico. I'm, we're finding the vast majority of the people want to stay because they want to stay and work on their house, be, and they want to stay and be there when the inspector comes, and, and we certainly, I think, we understand that, and we want to be supportive. Which brings me to the other program, which is actually a better fit, which is if there are rental resources available in, in the community, then we will pay, you know, pay for the rent for that. And I think that's a much, it's not a night by night in a hotel kind of experience for somebody. For, it gives them an opportunity to move into another apartment while they're working to fix their home. And, and that is certainly a program that uh, that's, has been available and continues to be available here uh, in Puerto Rico. Do you have the number of participants on that program? I don't have program? it right in the top of my head, uh, uh, but I, I can certainly get